Recently on Stained Glass DIY, we started a Stained Glass Commission for Track 7 Brewing Company out in Sacramento, California. If you've been following along, you know we got started with the glass cutting and we had some tense moments with those curvy orange pieces. Let's just say we survived and if you haven't seen part two or part one, I'll link them in the description for you. Today we'll finish up the glass cutting of the blues, try some glass paint, and we'll get into some lead work to hold the glass together. Let's get back to it. grind that. So yesterday I had a lot of errands to run and was pretty much just taking care of family stuff. But during that time I went to Stained Glass Garden and picked up some stuff. We got some chains. We are going to hang this project. It's going to be with these beefy chains here. And then I got two um, jump rings. These are half inch and they go on top of the, the frame. You can just hang everything with it. So that's all there is to it. And then probably some S hooks connect the chain to wherever you want to hang it to. But this is a glass that was ordered because they didn't have this um, color in the smooth glass. They only had the ripples. Whoa. Ah, oh, that's so nice. This is the best that we can do, and I think it's gonna look pretty good. And then the other one is some pale type of blue right here. I guess the pale blue would be the darker blue, and then that lighter blue here. It's almost like greenish now if I'm looking at it. But this light blue would just be the light blue right there, the lightest color. All right, we'll keep going with this. What the f wait, did I just do? Um, yeah, I don't even know what happened. We're gonna continue on. Five more pieces to go. All right, let's clean up and put everything back and see if we got everything. Are you serious right now? We actually got this done. With the entire glass cutting, it turned out. Especially these guys right here. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, the hardest part is not even over, even though that was very difficult in that glass cutting. Next up, we're doing some zinc cutting and some lead stuff. I'm using a regular hacksaw to cut the zinc came for the left and the bottom border to begin our buildup of the panel. Just make sure they're longer than the actual panel in case you need some extra length. You can always trim down, but not the opposite. I'm lining up the pattern to the newly cut borders as evenly as possible, testing alignment with a few glass pieces on the pattern. Once everything is lined up, we'll tape the pattern down on the workboard. Then we can hammer in some horseshoe nails to hold the zinc cane in place. The main thing to keep in mind is to make the horizontal beams sit inside the vertical beams and not the other way around. And this is for structural support of your entire panel so it doesn't fall apart when it gets hung. This is a lead cutter knife. You can also use just one of these. I like the knife a little bit better, but sometimes you need to get in there, kind of clean up some tiny bits. So the dikes are pretty good for that. Okay, so I got my lead uh, H channel. Officially, I think it's the H came in 3 16 and round. We chopped it off. Just nice and flat. Just gonna form the lead. It's very soft. You can just kind of shape it. So essentially, leading the panel is a balance of fitting the glass and lead, cutting and trimming the lead came, and making sure each glass piece fits snugly between the lead. If it's too big, we end up going to the grinder. If it's too small, you'll have to cut a new piece. 
We started with the bottom left corner, so we'll continue to build up from there. We're not even halfway through the letting. The glass pieces didn't fit, like basically started over and um, cutting new glass pieces. That wasted a lot of time. I've got, I think, five days left. What's today? Just today, Tuesday, Wednesday. Holy shit. I think we'll make it. I still think we're good. I, when I say five days, I don't think I have full, a full five days. You know, I can always try to sneak in here again. Hopefully we don't have to keep cutting glass pieces because I don't know if I have any. If I have those colors left too. Um, uh, it might have been better to just um, cut and go as I went along. Now I have a pretty good idea about how the lead lines up on the pattern. Like it has to be oversized, mil and a half or something like that. And then you could grind down. Anyways, it's, uh, let's just get back into it. All right. I completely forgot the center of our project. We're gonna head out to this art store, Blake's, and we're gonna try to find um, some of this glass paint. I don't really know how uh, fusing glass works, but I imagine that you put two glass pieces on top of each other and then they kind of melt into one another, which is kind of cool, but I haven't done it before, so I have no idea how to do that, um, nor do I want to get into it right now. In this case, we're just gonna get some paint um, that you apply onto the glass and then you can bake it from what I was told you just put it in the oven um, Like a normal oven. I think it's gonna stay on there fine It's the only thing we got right now other than not painting it on at all or just painting it on regularly Which I'm not gonna do so if we can try it out then I think it's worth it. Yeah, this place is about 10 minutes away Hopefully they got everything we need I think this is it I guess black, black, black. All right, and we need a paintbrush. Oh no, what do I get? There's a million brushes here. So it was $8 for the paint and about five bucks for the brush. Not too bad, I only got one bottle. Um, the other one was like a stained glass effect. Uh, I didn't want it to be see-through, so I got this other one um, just to make it more solid. There it is, Porcelain 150. I think that's what it's called, Pabeo. So I haven't used the brush in like years. It's It feels super long, I don't know. Is that how it's supposed to be? Look at this thing. Do like a sample, sample paint. Another section of it. That needs to sit for 24 hours. And maybe right now I should size this up, make sure everything fits. Then we should paint it um, just to give it that 24 hours time. I want to see what this glass looks like now. So that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and paint this glass here. So painting the glass wasn't too difficult. I'm not a painter, but I'd say it feels pretty much like any other paint you would use on any regular project. I did the borders first to trace and then just started filling it in. If you're a painter, I can see this being a great way for you to add your art onto glass. And even if you're not a painter, we now have a different way to customize our own glass art. All right, we'll let that sit and see you in about 24 hours, I guess. I got 30 minutes left to the day. Oh, this is the paint that's dried now. Hopefully it works out. Let's see today. 